Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly as they get ready to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Wilson throwing quickly out to Lockett. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic, and people want to put a little contact on it. Really well done. This is Chris Carson, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. I'll get him, get him, get him. On first down, Wilson. And it's hauled in by Ed Dixon. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Wilson. They'll buy some time right, and they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. The Philadelphia Eagles, they sit at 5-5. Five and five. Their offense coming back out here, CD. As they start this next drive, you think about that 5-5 five and five record after the loss against New England, which was a little bit of a Super Bowl 53 revenge game in Week 11. At this point, though, at 5-5, five and five, I don't think the playoffs seem very likely for them. Well, they'll have to win the division, and I think it's down to them and Dallas, and they do play Week 16, and I don't think there's any room for a wild-card spot at the NFC East. You either win the division, go to the playoffs, or you go home. So they're home against Seattle in Week 12. I'll see that game. Then they're at Miami, home for the Giants, and at Washington. So the schedule sets up well for them before they play Dallas in Week 16 in a game that could decide the division. 
But one quick humorous note. Remember the Philly special or Philly Philly that play they ran against New England in the sure. Super Bowl? How about New England getting them with the double pass, Julian Edelman throwing it to win the ball game. Got a little shot back at them in their revenge game. Now a two-time 1,000-yard rusher for the Bears. This is Jordan Howard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run with Howard, and the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On second down. It's Sanders, and he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option. Now, a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Carson, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. We're scoreless after one. On second down now, it's Carson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the gain there. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And that's going to be intercepted. Malcolm Jenkins, the pro bowler, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Working from the gun, Wentz looking middle, and it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target. And now it's second down. And with that, folks, I want to remind you to join the NFL Salute to Service. This season, the NFL and its players are honoring those who proudly serve our country, and fans are encouraged to join NFL players in writing letters to service members and their families. To learn how you can send your letter today, visit NFL.com slash salute. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Aguilar has it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Let's go. Let's go. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. It's a second down run with Sanders. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Wins. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Going for Metcalf on the deep. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. D.K. Metcalf taking it in as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we going to do? Looks like they've ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to the... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. With a sack at Ziggy Ansah. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. To throw, it's wins. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork.
They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that is incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Now this throw caught left side. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Seattle. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just Let's checked go. it down, Let's Let's let him go. get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Mississippi State Bulldog ringing the cowbell there on the sack. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this. And down he goes 
goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. Seven nothing is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Let him know, let him know. On the toss play, Howard. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Wynn's going to try and throw on third. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Carson. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On third and one, Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Right back, 315. 54 miles. On first down, Carson. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Last stop! all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Third and two, now Wilson. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yes. Yeah, and the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's caught by Aguilar.
That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Here we go, Pac Man. 50, 50, check my 50. Quit talking about it and bring it. Now, Howard. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. A good comeback there after the penalty. Nine yards, and it's second and six. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. They go with Howard again. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Here we go, here we go. And let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. On first down, they run with Howard. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit, boy. Here we go. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. <laughs> From midfield, here's Wentz. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That one goes for 30 yards. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. Now looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Wentz again here on second and 10. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. That brings up third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Wentz to throw for it on fourth. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Quentin Jefferson, and the Seahawks are going to take over the football. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So it's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we can get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. To throw on second and six, Wilson. 
And he will find his man on the outside. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Let's go. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Here's Carson. Able to push forward for about four down to the 37. to throw on second and six. Wilson, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. They run it with Carson, and he'll get it down here to the 43. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted and spotted at the 14-yard line. So now Wentz and the Eagles down 7-0. A little under a minute 50 remaining. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Hey, D-Line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Wentz to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Back to throw. Wins. And Sanders has got it complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Back to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. 
There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Rip left, rip left. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. <laughs> Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And a throw there going to be incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So the victory here for Seattle. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuffed to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket, and that's what they've got going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Philly.